Thanks, guys. We are here at the Niagara Falls, New York Police Department to honor the Incredible Hulk, Lou Ferrigno, who will be sworn in as an honorary police officer on both sides of the border. A stolen dream is what often happens when kids are bullied. They forget their way, they lose their way, and oftentimes they lose their heart. If you look to your left and you look to your right, statistically you're going to see someone who has been bullied. If not, if you look inside yourself, you've probably been bullied. Okay, I'm here at the Auto for the Niagara Fall Comic Con. But, my, but the exciting part is the fact I'm here for the Niagara Falls Police Department because I've been a deputy for 12 years and it's part giving back and I enjoy going to other states like coming here to show my support, to show that cops are not bad people, that people need to respect cops more. Like I talked before about community policing, which is so important about getting the public trust with cops and the public themselves. That's the answer to, to all the questions because growing up as a kid, my father was an NYPD lieutenant, so he walked the beat. And it's all about that trust, because if you have any problem, communicate with the police officers. It's not like just looking for a patrol car. It's a different situation, and that's why this department here is putting a lot of emphasis on community policing. And talk a little bit about today your message to the kids about bullying. You'll be speaking with some uh, in a few minutes. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I've been bullied my whole life, and I talk to the kids about bullying because sometimes they don't understand how to handle and deal with the bully situation. They kind of have a tendency to refrain, run away and hide, and become victimized. It's important for them to take action and talk openly about it, then harbor themselves. And what's kids' reactions like when you go to schools and they see a man of your physique saying that you've once been bullied? They feel like they've seen what I've done when I was a kid, how much I changed my life, and it gives them hope that they know that they're not the only one who are being bullied, that they have hope that they could change their life to make their lives better. It's always a great opportunity to connect with our law enforcement partners uh, from across the border in uh, Niagara Falls, New York. It's indeed my pleasure to, uh, uh, to be here this morning, and I'm honored to have the opportunity to meet Mr. Ferrigno this, in person. So can you tell us how this dual country swearing in came about? Well, uh, Lou is a, is a huge supporter of law enforcement, uh, both in Canada and the U.S., and uh, he, he is a strong advocate for anti-bullying. Uh, you may not be aware of this, but uh, Lou himself was uh, bullied as a youth, and uh, so that's why he's taken such a strong stance in, in delivering the anti-bullying message. And if Lou has time, are there any plans for him to meet with any of the Niagara Regional Police Officers? Um, we have a tour planned uh, for later this afternoon. He's going to tour our, our new uh, police facility in Niagara Falls, and uh, we look forward to, to showing him uh, the sights of Niagara. And bullying can be done in so many ways, even over the Internet, as I'm sure you know. For viewers, young or old, what should they do if they are a witness or being bullied online? Well, first of all, I mean, bullying is just not acceptable in today's day and age. And uh, um, be an advocate uh, for anti-bullying anytime you can, and if there's... Uh, if there's anything that needs to come to the attention of law enforcement, should certainly make us aware and we'll investigate those incidents. Any of you on the force watch The Incredible Hulk growing up? I, I certainly did. I was a big fan of The Incredible Hulk when I grew up and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting him myself personally. Thank you. You see, I was bullied my whole life and you have the message I want to bring about bullying. It's not the person that's victimized. It could be a teacher, it could be a, a woman, it could be a man, it could be anyone. It's all about that person who feels that they're victimized. Go to the source, go talk to someone, deal with the bully himself because they have the problem. They're transferring that anger. And by the way, if anybody bullies you, your kids, I'll give you my phone number, just call me. <laughs> anyway, I want to share that message with you. I'm very excited to be here at Niagara Falls, and I'm very excited to be here the Canadian Police Department, Niagara Falls the Police Department, and thank you so much. I love you all. With Lou's double honor this morning, I wonder if he will be able to cross the border without his Nexus Pass. <laughs> Back to you, Andrew and Andrew, over at Comic-Con.